website at triumphbank.com forward slash CD special or call 901-333-8876 for more information. Triumph is a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Let's talk growth. The Doug Steffen Show, 3 to 6 a.m. weekdays on The Voice for the Mid-South, FM 107.9 and AM 990. Here's Business Spotlight from your local voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. And here's your host, George Bryant. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and uh, the Mid-South is uh, steaming up, as they say. This weather, uh, Mother Nature has uh, turned it up a little bit. And I hate to complain, Tracy, uh, because, uh, you know, we were whining before. We were, freezing. <laughs> we were absolutely freezing. I still won't complain too much, but we'll be outside a good bit. It's, um, you know, I was just um, really excited when uh, my husband realized that he uh, has his favorite week of the year coming up. And barbecue, barbecue Fest. Fest. It is, it's better than any holiday, his birthday, <laughs> anything. It's when he and his buddies get to go out, and we've been on a team for a while, and it's just a total blast. So. It is. You know, the Mid-South really uh, um, cranks up. It's really the kickoff mm-hmm. of, uh, you know, spring, summer to me. It's Absolutely. like the beginning of the year when the barbecue fest gets started. Everybody comes out, everybody meets, and, you know, it's, yeah. uh, it's just a great time um, for our town. Yeah. And speaking of that, let me do the introduction, though. <laughs> we jumped right <laughs> into it. Into this it. is our special feature, Let's Talk Growth. And our um, host, as always, is Tracy Strickland. Welcome into the studios, Tracy. Thank you, George. Well, you know, we, we talk about Barbecue Fest, which is our fa- one of our favorite weeks of the year. And it's going to be steamy. And we, we have been so busy at Triumph the past um, couple of weeks. We... Last week, I had Will Chase, our president and CEO, on, and he gave such a great picture about what's going on in the banking industry, what's going on at Triumph, and what we're really proud of on a financial basis and Mm -hmm. what we bring to our customers. But, you know, something I like to do every few weeks is just remind everybody about the great things that are happening in the community, Um, the the things that our team get involved with. Um, Ever since I joined the bank almost five years ago now, which goes by very quickly, um, it's just been my passion to bring um, an additional layer to our culture, and that's just a real focus on our community service work at the bank. Um, And you do a great, I got to say, you do such a fantastic job uh, with that. And uh, I want to also let everybody know this is our special um, segment that we get to do, Let's Talk Growth um, with Triumph Bank. And it's a chance for us to kind of look behind the scenes a little bit and get to know the culture of the bank and what makes it so good. And part of what we're talking about today is all the great things that your bank does, the mm-hmm. give back, but also you are uh, joining a lot of the movements that are going on in rebuilding communities, really making communities better and great. Right. Um, so, you know, it's a real exciting time. I want to take a quick break. When we come back, We're going to kind of dig into some of those that you're working on, some of your special projects. This is Let's Talk Growth with Triumph Bank. Tracy Strickland is in the house. We'll be right back. You're listening to FM 107.9 and AM 990. Now, here's Mid-South weather from News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Brought to you by the Crescent Club. Hosting the people and ideas that move Memphis forward for nearly 30 years. Poplar and I-240. Call for a free tour at 901-684-1010. Continued partly cloudy and hot with temperatures in the lower 90s and light winds out of the west. Rain chances are increasing at 30% tonight. 40 and 50% rain chances for your Wednesday and Thursday and afternoon highs dropping back down into the mid 80s. Memphis Spine and Rehab relocating to Germantown across from the Chick-fil-A on Wolf Trail Cove. Visit thememphisspine.com or call 901-751-0939. I'm News Channel 3's Todd Demers on The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. And now back to Business Spotlight on The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. Welcome back to our studios. It's Tuesday and Let's Talk Growth, one of our uh, great segments that we get to do with uh, one of our local business partners, Triumph Bank, our host, Tracy Strickland in the house. Welcome back, Tracy. Thanks. 
Well, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm excited when we get to talk about the community. I do want to let everybody know that our website, I usually feature a lot of our <coughs> community projects as well uh -huh. as the great um, products and services that we offer our customers on our website, triumphbank.com. Um, one of our projects that we're going to talk about shortly um, is featured on there. Um, oh, nice. A great family day we had at Binghamton Christian Academy. Um, but one of the things, you know, we talk about getting the team involved um, I just wanted to kind of take a, take a time at the beginning of this year to um, summarize and look back at all the work that we did and uh -huh. um, the various partners that we were able to have the opportunity to work with. And our team, we had like over a third of our team serve in some capacity last year. That's incredible. Which is great. I mean, we're a, we're a growing team, and every year we move that needle farther down. So we had a 25% incre increase increased involvement from our team over 540 hours from our team and our board of directors uh -huh. um, that is so integrally um, tied to so many important organizations in the mm -hmm. city so I'm proud of that uh, you know it took some time to spend with each of our offices having lunch and learns and really gathering yeah. ideas from them mm -hmm. <clears throat> to help them um, formulate um, our community service program but we've done three things that literally the past two weeks that I would love to to talk about and that first one was that family day and if you go to our website you'll see some pictures from it um being hampton christian academy has been one of our longest running uh community partners we've worked with them for over four years now um and it's a <clears throat> precious little small private school mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me at walnut grove yeah. and tillman um but it is um i would say the large percentage of that population are sudanese refugees who have moved to america mm -hmm. settled in the Binghampton neighborhood and um, just have a precious education model. And so um, through our support and through our partnership, um, this is the second annual family day that we've been able to hold oh. at the school. Yeah, that's great. And so what we were able to do is we had probably 15 to 20 members of our team go out two Thursdays ago for a couple of hours. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> number one, it's just a wonderful way for us to get connected to the whole community, mm -hmm. not just the students. We get to right. interact more with the teachers. Uh -huh. um, and of course, the parents um, that come to pick up the kids, we, uh, you know, sent out flyers to the homes and wanted to make sure that they knew that we wanted them to be there mm -hmm. and wanted to meet them and visit with them. Um, but we had two of our Triumph Mortgage Loan Originators go out there and held a class <laughs> specifically on tips for buying your first home. Um, oh. Because I think so many um, people are still renting and it's, you know, as we've had our mortgage team on yeah. in the past weeks, um, the home uh, inventory is so low and it's mm -hmm. such a seller's market right now. So just really sharing tips. I know they talked about the disadvantages and the advantages of both renting and owning right. um, and having open discussions about mm -hmm. that and preparing them for what a mortgage, you know, uh, loan originator is going to look at when they buy their first mm -hmm. home, making sure they have their credit in check. And then obviously they share tips on, you know, if it's not exactly where you need it to be, the yeah. things that you can do to can put do. that in place. Uh -huh. And I, I love that our team, um, you know, if um, somebody may not have that credit score up there, they want to work with them. They want to counsel them, give them mm -hmm. tips. And so, so many of their customers, they might have met two, two or three years ago, <clears throat> but through the, the tips they've shared, are able to now buy their first home. Um, you know, talking about, you know, capacity, making sure that they can afford their monthly payments. Um, right having the collateral that they need. So having that time with the parents and the teachers was a fantastic mm. thing. And so then um, another group of us that were there that day really held a carnival for the kids. Um, it was it was so much fun. It was a beautiful day. We had a bouncy house, which, you know, oh, my gosh, you have to <laughs> <laughs> ration that pretty close because literally the whole community jumps in. They're like, hey, only 10 kids at a time. Uh, yeah, banging into each other. Oh, my God. They just loved it. And then yeah. we um, had some girls from Rhodes who came out to face paint. Um, and, of course, all the kids always love that. Mm -hmm. um, it's close to Mother's Day. We do that intentionally every year because mm -hmm. we have – um, some cute clay pots that the kiddos can paint and then plant petunias and take home as a Mother's Day gift. They probably would not have an opportunity to go buy a gift yeah. for their mom, so it's a good make and take. Um, and then as we were having a team 
um, planning call, um, two of our um, ladies who work out in our Collierville Mortgage Office said, my daughter loves to make slime, so can I lead a slime-making station? <laughs> and I told Christina and Catherine, I said, y'all are all about the slime. Y'all can, y'all are in charge of the slime-making station. So nice. I think they might have regretted that decision at the end of the day <laughs> when they had glue and everything everywhere. But, oh, my gosh, the kids loved it, and we've got some great So how do you make show. slime? It is, it's a concoction. I don't know completely all the ingredients. <laughs> I know it has to do, they had this huge thing of Elmer's glue and these three other uh, ingredients, and then they had colors they were mixing in there, uh-huh. and all the kids had these little dishes so they could make and take slime. And um, I brought my boys too. They um, got out early from Gray St. Luke's and came and joined them, and um, <laughs> they were they were in very they were thrilled to get to do all that, and it was oh my gosh, so much fun. <laughs> um, and then um, the other part of the um, deal is just to be able to talk with the team and talk uh-huh. with. Um, I, I've built some great relationships with some of the teachers, some of the dorm parents there through yeah. their residential program. And, um, it, you know, it's, it's it, you know, no matter if we're building relationships with our customers, with our team, but when we build a relationship with our community partner and they know that we're truly invested in helping them be successful mm-hmm. and um, be able to find opportunities that we can help serve them in a multitude of different ways. Right. Um, they're just a precious, uh, precious community. So if you want some more information about being Hampton Christian Academy, their website is bcamemphis.org um, or just um, Google being Hampton Christian Academy. How can Academy. people uh, help? Um, you know, because well, it is an established now, you know, yeah. operation, but I'm sure they still need help. It is. Shelly Alley, we usually have her on once uh-huh. a year. She's their director of development. Um, you know, the families only pay $100 a year mm-hmm. for their whole family of kids to go. So some families may have one child at the school. Some may have five. So it's, um, excuse me, $100 a semester. But, um, you know, obviously compared to any other um, private education, I mean, it's, you know, it just allows them to have a little bit of an investment in Mm -hmm. their child's future. Um, But call Shelly. I mean, when you call the school directly, just call Shelly Alley Uh to ask um, how you could financially support the school. There are, I mean, now that school is almost out for the year, it's a little quieter, of course, during the summer. Mm -hmm. Um, But they are always looking for people to either paint classrooms, provide school supplies. One of so volunteer work. A know, lot of volunteer helping. work. Yeah. They, um, you know, a lot of cleanup work, or mm-hmm. it's just serving. They've they because they have the residential program there during the school year. They have a like almost take them a meal type opportunity. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, it seems like I remember when Shelly's been here before yes. that they do something where they bring meals. You, can. you know, you can bring meals. Oh yeah, Monday kids. through Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Um, there's 30 to 32 of the students mm-hmm. that live on the campus. It's the only residential program in the city yeah. of Memphis. So wow. for schools, <clears throat> so you can sign up to bring meals to the girls or the boys dorm or uh-huh. both. And then we like to do it on Thursday nights because that's, we get to go in the dorms and hang out with the kiddos and play <laughs> games and do there. So we've done a lot of um, financial education, you know, talking yeah. about the importance of saving your money, mm-hmm. even at a very small age oh, yeah. and, you know, any way that you can touch a child in a way to teach them um, mm-hmm. um, to be financially smart and be thinking about those things early on is important. Let's talk growth with Triumph Bank. We're talking with Tracy Strickland. Right now we're uh, kind of breezing through some of the great projects they've done in the community that uh, is a great example of what a good local business they are, giving back to the community. We're going to take a quick break. We'll okay. come back. We're going to you know, talk about a couple of more things that mm-hmm. you've got uh, to talk about, and uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. The Memphis Daily News Report, credible, reliable, always unbiased. Mimeo.com, an online managed content distribution and printing company, is considering relocating its headquarters to Memphis from New York. The company is seeking tax incentives from the Economic Development Growth Engine for a project it says could include investing $13 million into its facility on Mayak Cove, consolidating its North American operations. Mimeo has operated a print production and distribution center for more than a decade. Charter school operator Gestalt Community Schools has bought the Mendenhall Square Shopping Center located on the northeast corner of Mendenhall and Winchester Roads. One of Gestalt's five Power Academy schools is located within the shopping center, while a second is located due south across Winchester Road. Townhouse Management Company, the New York-based company planning to redevelop 100 North Main, has released more details about its plans. On Friday, the company said the hotel would also likely include 110 apartment units. 
In addition to the landmark building, the development would include two 30-story office towers and a parking garage that could hold more than 1,200 cars. For more on these stories, pick up a print edition of the Daily News or go to memphisdailynews.com. And now back to Business Spotlight on The Voice, FM 107.9 and AM 990. Welcome back to our studios. It's Let's Talk Growth Tuesday with Triumph <laughs> Bank and our uh, special host, Tracy Strickland. Welcome back, Tracy. Thank you, George. We are talking about what a great week this is. Um, and, uh, you know, in part of our community, the Barbecue Fest, it's a... It's something that people come from all over the world Absolutely. coming in to compete, you know, and it's happening mm -hmm. right here in our backyard. But there are a lot of other good things that I know you guys support mm -hmm. that are going on in the community. And we're sort of talking yeah. about some of those projects. There are. I think, you know, we love working with kids, like I've been talking about earlier. But, um, you know, another great segment, it's, it's close to my heart. I have... Um, senior aged parents my mom just turned 90 which boggles my mind mm. and um, she spent 35 years of her life um, having a, um, a weekly devotional ministry through her church at a at a nursing home every Friday that she would you know go and you know arrange this th through her church uh -huh. so and I used to go with her as a little girl and um, you know being able to work with seniors um, they are um, so neglected sometimes if they don't have exactly. family that's around them and if they go um, live at um, a facility. There's tons of beautiful, you know, senior living um, uh -huh. areas, but there are some um, that where the, the people move in and the family forgets them and you just want to be able to give back. And um, there's such a problem in, in, our, in our nation with elder abuse. And I was reading some statistics that, are pretty scary um, to think about how um, seniors can be financially exploited. I was mm -hmm. reading where two million seniors are financially exploited every year, and about 84% of these events go unreported. Oh. So it uh, um, leads to this massive loss of almost $3 mm -hmm. billion dollars that mm -hmm. um, seniors are taken advantage of. So there is um, an organization that we partnered with a couple of years ago called CRA Partners, uh -huh. um, and they work hand in hand with the Senior Crime Stoppers um, group. And so, what we're able to do is work with them to find a senior living facility, um, depending on the size of it, that we can go in and sponsor um, in a way that we are able to, through our sponsorship. We there's like a charter presentation that we did mm -hmm. last Tuesday, um, but we are able to bring the Senior Crime Stoppers program to that senior living facility. So last Tuesday, we went to Serenity at Highland. Uh -huh. So it's around Highland and Central. Yep. Um, just a couple of um, large buildings to the south, um, I guess. And so we, we went there last Tuesday. Will Chase and I went and, and met with several of the residents and um, a lot of the management and staff there, and they were wonderful, wonderful people. There's over 200 residents living there. Um, and so what the, the Senior Crime Stoppers program does is it brings this free tip line. And there's, there's flyers all over the facility now that if there is any instance where a resident notices any type of suspicious behavior and clearly any kind of criminal behavior, they call this tip line, mm. share their information, and if their information helps to solve anything that might have happened, then they're rewarded for that. Um, and so I think it really helps <laughs> um, decrease any kind of crime that could ever happen um, at those facilities, which is so important just for seniors to be able to live in peace and quiet and enjoy mm -hmm. their, mm -hmm. their time of reflection and just to be able to, you know, not have to worry um, about those kind of things. So another big part of that program is that each of the residents are provided with like a little personal lockbox uh -huh. in their room. So they can put all of their valuables, any, you know, jewelry or watches or, you know, clearly money or anything like that, and it's protected and mm -hmm. safe. Um, mm -hmm. So we were able to um, meet with those um, great people, and then th they also provide ongoing, continuing education about how to keep themselves safe. Um, oh, cool. And so it's, we're real proud to be able to do that. And after meeting with one of the ladies that works there, um, she was real proud. They're renovating their lobby. And mm -hmm. um, so one of the rooms that, that's open, she said, oh, well, you know, this is going to be our lending library. But right now, of course, they had this whole room. It was newly painted shelves up, and they might have had 
one of their shelves covered in books. She said, we really need books <laughs> um, and magazines. So our team is over the next couple of weeks going to be collecting books and I'm going to be um, oh, taking great. them over there to help <laughs> help them build their lending library. So it is Serenity at Highland. Um, and so if you do have books that you, adult books, grown up books that you'd like to donate, um, take them there. I'm sure they would love to accept your donations mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, for those books. So um, being able to work with seniors is um, another thing that we're super proud of. Um, then last Thursday, um, I'll go back to the school for a second because we, at Binghamton Christian Academy, we sponsor the kindergarten class. And um, not only do we get to, you know, provide all of their books, their supplies, everything that they mm. need, but we actually kind of get to act as their room parents as well. So um, instead of an end-of-the-year party at their school, um, our uh, CEO, Will Chase, had a great idea and said, why don't we see if we could create a field trip and take them to the Dixon Gallery and Gardens? So um, Chip Marston, who is on our board, is on the board at the Dixon and connected us um, with Elise Piper, who is their director of development. She put this great opportunity together for us. So we um, were able to serve lunch to the kiddos. They came over in their bus, and then they toured the, the gallery, and then they did self-portraits um, of <laughs> themselves. So, cool. so they got to, um, and I've never, oh, my gosh, they, want, they could work on that thing for two hours. They had 30 mm -hmm. minutes to put together a little self-portrait for themselves. So uh -huh. it's been a busy um, couple of weeks at Triumph, but we have been really um, thrilled to get to um, put on all these projects for our partners. We're talking with uh, Tracy Strickland, uh, Triumph Bank, Let's Talk Growth, mm -hmm. fantastic segment. I want to take a minute for our listeners to let them, everybody know that Triumph Bank, a really great local community bank, if you haven't found a bank that you're doing business with or uh, you're – maybe disappointed in the bank that you're using you might want to reach out to a really great bank uh triumph bank and they have a fantastic website triumphbank.com uh you guys have been around started up uh, during a really tough time in our economy in 2006 um you just dug in and through great leadership and then uh, i love the way you operate and you and you've and you offer so many cool things inside your bank it's on the leading edge of banking, I think, without losing that personal touch, which is really right. kind of a All very the technology unique. that you see at the larger banks we mm -hmm. offer at Triumph. And I was just going to make a little a little plug. If you do, if you're looking for a great CD rate, um, we do have some amazing CD specials going on right now. I can't share rates over the radio, but we, if you go to triumphbank.com forward slash CD special, uh -huh. It talks about them there, or just call one of our offices at Poplar. We're checking into because I know everybody's struggling to get, and the I mean, rates are going up a little they bit are. now. So, they are. So be know. sure to call one of our offices and ask for our CD rates because they're wonderful right now. Tracy, thank you for coming in. Thank you, George. Tracy you. Strickland on Tuesdays. You need to make sure you mark that down, lock it in, Tuesday, 730. Always great guests, great information, <laughs> and a fantastic bank. 901-333-8800 is the number to call Triumph Bank. We'll be back next Tuesday. Let's talk growth with Triumph Bank on FM 107.9 and AM 990.